USS Wisconsin or BB-64 is an Iowa-class battleship. She served in several wars, World War II, the Korean War, and in Operation Desert Storm. So the Iowa class was ordered by the United States Navy in 1939-1940. Originally it intended to intercept high-speed capital ships such as the Japanese Congo class. They functioned alongside slower battleships in traditional battle lines, serving as their fast wing. Four ships were completed, Iowa, New Jersey, Missouri and Wisconsin. Although there were plans to build two more, Illinois and Kentucky, but they were cancelled. The four Iowa class ships were the last battleships commissioned by the US Navy. Although the US battleships were decommissioned by 1947 and circuit from naval vessel register by 1963. The Iowa class of battleships were the second largest battleships ever made. The largest ones were the Japanese Yamato and her sister Musashi. Wisconsin had a displacement of 44 thousand tons stand, a length of about 800 meters and a maximum speed of 33 knots, making Wisconsin and her sisters the largest battleships ever made by the US Navy. Now the armaments. USS Wisconsin's main armament consisted of three turrets, each containing the 16-inch Mark 7 guns. These guns could fire 2,700-pound armor piercing shells or 1,900-pound high explosive shells with a maximum range of about 23 miles. Each of the three turrets weighs over 2,200 tons, two in the front and one in the back. During the 1950s, a version of the W-19 nuclear artillery shell was developed specifically for the 16-inch guns, making them the world's largest nuclear artillery and making the Iowa-class battleships the only U.S. Navy ships ever to have nuclear projectiles designed for them. The Iowa-class are the only battleships to mount the Mark 7 gun. This weapon is a considerable improvement over the Mark 6 guns mounted in the North Carolina class. Her secondary armament consisted of 25 Mark 12 rifles. These dual purpose guns can hit stationary targets up to 9 miles away, as well as aircraft at closer range. The 5 inch guns were mounted in 10 twin turrets. And the 5 inch gun caliber was arguably the best dual purpose gun of World War II. First developed in, in the 1930s to equip in new destroyers, 5 inch was used on almost all major US warships built between 1934 and 1948. It was also used in support ships, merchant ships, small warships, and ships of the United States Coast Guard. The gun had a high rate of fire and ability to load easily at any elevation angle both highly desirable qualities in an anti-aircraft weapon. The introduction of the proximity fuse anti-aircraft shell in 1943 made the gun even more powerful. Rather, anti-aircraft weapons evolved over time because of the evolution of air threats, from air raids in World War II to higher jet speeds after the war. She initially had 20 quadruple mounts for both those 40mm guns, for a total of 80 barrels distributed along the main deck and the superstructure with a firing rate of up, of up to 160 rounds per minute and range of 11,000 yards. Moreover, 49 single Orlikon 20mm guns were distributed throughout the lower five levels of the superstructure and main deck, with a firing rate of up to 450 rounds per minute and a range of 4,800 yards. While having big guns and massive power is a huge advantage for any battleship, but alone is not enough. A battleship or a warship must have a good targeting system, otherwise the shells fired from the ship's guns will not hit the target. To properly aim her guns, Wisconsin used two targeting systems, the Mark 8 range keeper for the 16-inch gun and the Mark 1A fire control computer for the smaller 5-inch guns. These were mechanical analog computers that could solve 20 plus variable calculus problems in real time, constantly long before digital computers came in. These mechanical computers take as input variables like wind speed, the ship's speed, Coriolis effects and other factors these variables can be either entered manually or automatically to the computing system. Once the system was locked on a target, it would send signals throughout the switchboard to the gun turret and mount to keep them aimed properly. Next, sending stabilizing data to adjust the elevation of the guns for the ship's yaw and pitch. The Mark 8 was itself electromechanically networked. It consisted of five boxes of analog computing hardware bolted together into a single unit. Operational history. 
Wisconsin sailed for the West Coast on 24 September 1944, transited the Panama Canal and was assigned to the Pacific Fleet on the 2nd of October. The battleship then moved to Hawaiian waters for training exercises en route to the Western Caroline Island, Islands. Then on 9 December she joined Admiral William Holsey's 3rd Fleet. Wisconsin arrived in ease when its conquest was well underway. Wisconsin was then tasked with escorting Fast Carrier Task Force 38 as they conducted air raids at Manila to weaken Japanese positions. He was then assigned to the 5th Fleet with Admiral Raymond A. Soprano replacing Admiral Holsey as fleet commander. She headed to Tokyo with Task Force 58 on 16th of February 1945. Under the cover of bad weather, the task force approached the Japanese coast and conducted an attack on Japanese forces. As a result, Wisconsin and other ships of the task force shut down 322 enemy aircraft and destroyed 177 more on the ground. Wisconsin continued conducting operations with the task force until she eventually entered Leyte Gulf on 18th of June for repairs and resupply. Three weeks later, on July 1st, the battleship and escort ships again sailed into Japanese mainland waters to conduct carrier airstrikes. On the 16th of July, Wisconsin opened fire with her 16-inch guns on steel and oil works. Two days later, industrial facilities were destroyed in Tachi Miro district. By this point in the war, Allied warships such as Wisconsin were able to bombard the Japanese mainland almost at will. Task Force 38 aircraft then blew up the Japanese naval base at Yokosuka, knocking out the former fleet flagship Nagato, one of the two remaining battleships of the IGN. Operations continued throughout July and August until Japan surrendered on August 15. And in 1948, she was decommissioned. But her decommissioning didn't last long because she was recommissioned again in 1951 because of the U.S. involvement in the Korean War. She provided gun support for both American and South Korean forces by bombarding shore targets of the North Korean Army. After her service in Korea, Wisconsin resumed her role as a training ship until 1958 when she was decommissioned again. And in 1986, and as a part of the Navy Secretary John F. Lehman's effort to create a 600-ship Navy, Wisconsin was reactivated. The ship then underwent a modernization process to make her ready for modern-day warfare. During the modernization, Wisconsin had all of her remaining Orlikon 20mm and Bofors 40mm anti-aircraft guns removed due to their ineffectiveness against modern-day jet fighters. Over the next several months, the ship was upgraded with the most advanced weaponry available. Among them, the Harpen anti-ship missiles and the Tomahawk missiles. Wisconsin also received eight RQ-2 Pioneer UAVs. This replaced the helicopter that was previously used to spot targets for the 16-inch guns. Modernization also included improved electronic warfare capabilities. After that, the ship con conducted several training exercises in the Atlantic, and in 1990, after the Iraqi invasion of the Kuwait, she participated in the Gulf War. And that was her last participation in the U.S. Navy. Wisconsin was decommissioned for the last time on September 30, 1991, and is now a museum ship. So, the video. Thanks for watching.